Unfortunately, your misguide is uh, late, running late uh, due to construction. Um, and you can't stand here and loiter in front of this establishment. So I'm going to have to move you. So follow me this way. Okay, I'm so, did anyone arrive by boat? Nope. No one? Well, that's probably a good thing because sometimes the boats are held up. On one occasion, 376 British subjects were detained in the harbour for two months. And eventually they were all returned to India. Many do arrive without hassle though. In fact, it's possible to get here by canoe in just three days from California. And that's a good thing too because, as you can see, this is an important location for foraging berries. We also gather things like tea and coffee and chocolate just over here. Well, it seems like we're missing a couple of people, but I think um, we're just actually standing right between the logging mill and the saloon, and it's just about the end of the workday, so we better get started. Can everybody hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gold Rush. Art, bars, and speculation. I'll be handing each of you an MP3 player in a moment, along with a set of headsets. So on the count of three, we'll all turn our players on. Again, on your lower left-hand side, and one, two, three. Good evening, and welcome to Vancouver to Granville, to Wangoa, to Musqueam, to Squamish, to Slowtooth Territory. We are the Misguides, a cultural walking collective. And we are proud to present Gold Rush, art, bars, and speculation. Gold Rush is not a city tour, but rather an urban walk, an attempt to re-understand the city and its many spaces, an effort to uncover the forgotten past and overlooked present. The walking body becomes a way of knowing, of mapping the city through movement, play, awareness, history, and speculation, blurring historical tour, fictional performance, and virtual navigation, themisguides.com. We will drift through streets, wander in and out of buildings, move through layered memories, through limitless imagination. Many in Vancouver, it is now our time to shine. Our time to share beautiful British Columbia with millions and millions of people around the world. Because now it is our turn to shine. And we are going to have a great Olympic Games here! Here is Sam Sullivan, the mayor of Vancouver, Robert Legion, getting ready to accept the Olympic Games. In 1858, gold was discovered in the lower Fraser River of British Columbia, bringing more than 25,000 prospectors who managed to find over $500,000 in gold. Gassy Jack was one of them. Gold is reprising its role as a safe haven in perilous times. After 9-11, with the plummeting U.S. dollar and fears of a global recession. Only gold, that object of desire and destruction, officially welcome you all to Centre A and the World Tea Party. Here we are invited to share in the spirit of generosity and understanding that drinking tea implies, both a celebration and transcendence of our cultural diversity. And so, let's toast to tea. To tea. To tea. To tea. tea. Toast. To a warm and safe haven from the cold. To a warm and safe haven from the cold. To trade, without which this warm cup of tea would not be possible. To trade. To train stations like the one we're standing in right now. To train, train stations. stations. 
and to trains for that matter, for getting us from here to there so efficiently. To trains. To technology, for connecting us with friends and loved ones no matter where we are in the world. To technology. To tracking movement, which far too often has less poetic ends. To tracking movement. Can anybody think of any others? Does that have to start with tea? <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> to tectonic plates. <laughs> May they remain intact. <laughs> to tectonic, to tectonic plates. plates. May they remain intact. <laughs> to Canada. To Canada. To Canada. To Canada. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm just about finished my cup here, so... I have one more toast. To the misguides. To the, the misguides. To the misguides. <laughs> and once more to wrap it all up, to tea. To, to tea. tea. Woodward's, it is speculated, will soon go bankrupt and close its doors. <laughs> It is thought by many that the redevelop of this building will be a key to revitalizing the downtown east side. The city of Vancouver, led by Jim Green, is in fact planning to purchase the building for $5 million. The anticipated $400 million revitalization project includes 536 market housing units. So I was watching the Colbert Report the other day and they were showing this clip about investing in gold. And Colbert said, you know, speaking of gold, everyone is speaking of gold. And it's true, with all of these budget deficits, we're gonna be printing so much money that the price of gold has nowhere to go but up. It's unbridled money printing, printing fortunes. But if you think about it, money is just a picture on a piece of paper. It's only real if we believe in it. This press has printed so many of the signs that I see as I walk through the city streets. The streets are filled with signboards jutting from the walls. My eyes don't see things but images of things that mean other things. An image of a pint or a keg, the pub. An image of a pair of scissors, the hair salon, wheat, the bakery, etc. And if a building doesn't have a signboard, then its very architectural form and the location that it occupies in the city signify its function. The palace, the prison, the university, the brothel. My gaze scans the streets as if they were written pages. And while you think you may be visiting this city or that, you're only repeating the names with which it defines itself. However the city might really be, whatever it might conceive and contain, you leave the city without having discovered it. If you think about it, it's just a picture on a piece of paper. It's only real if we believe in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now standing in a certain area of a certain city that is represented in certain ways. We all know the pleasures of traveling to certain places, distant lands, and consuming the exotic customs we find there. At London Drugs, you will find a wide variety of name brand candies not available even in our neighboring country to the south. Now that's sweet. The first Olympic Winter Games in 2010 are awarded to the city of Any new developments 
starts with the reworking and leveling of the land. Perilous times. To a safe haven in perilous times.